This tutorial demonstrates how to format page numbers for thesis and dissertation manuscripts in Microsoft Word. For the page number requirements, we refer to the graduate thesis and dissertation guidelines. This chart shows that for the preliminary pages, the pages are numbered in lowercase Roman numerals, while the rest of the manuscript, beginning with your chapter 1 or introduction forward, are numbered continuously in Arabic numerals. The page numbering also restarts with your chapter 1 or introduction as page number 1. First, let's insert page numbers for the preliminary pages. On your home ribbon, select the Insert tab, then choose the Page Number drop-down menu, bottom of page, and select Plane Number 2, or the Centered Page Number option. Now we need to adjust the page number margins. Choose the Page Layout tab, Margins, Custom Margins, and then go to the Layout tab within the Page Setup dialog box. Here is where you can adjust the footer margin. Change the footer margin to 0.75 and make sure you apply to Whole Document. This measures 3 quarters of an inch from the bottom of the page number to the bottom of the page. Next, make sure to update the font of your page number if needed. The font of the page number should be the same as the font used for your manuscript text. This manuscript is using Times New Roman. Therefore, I need to select the page number, go to the Home tab, and update the font from Calibri to Times New Roman 12 point. This has applied page numbers to all of the preliminary pages. However, there are two pages on which the page number does not display, the title page and the dedication page. So to remove the page number from the title page, we first have to insert a section break that isolates the title page from the pages following it. Place your cursor at the end of your title page following your graduation date. Then go to the Page Layout tab, select Breaks, and choose the Next Page Section Break. Then, double-click on page number 2 to open up the Header and Footers Tools menu again. Notice how the Link to Previous option is highlighted. We need to deselect this so that this is unlinked from the previous section, the previous section being the title page. Now that it is unlinked, we can return to the title page page number, place your cursor in front of it, and simply backspace to remove the page number from the title page without affecting the page numbers following it. Then you can close your header and footer menu and scroll through your pages, ensuring that the page number appears as normal. Next, go to the dedication page. This is located in between your abstract and your table of contents. Although this page is optional in your manuscript, if you do include one, you will need to make sure to remove the page number. First, we need to make sure that you have a section break before and after the dedication page. Under your Home tab, turn on the Display Hidden Formatting Marks. This is the symbol that looks like a backwards P. This will show you where your section breaks have been inserted. Make sure to insert a section break after your dedication page text by going to Page Layout, selecting Breaks, and Next Page Section Break. Then, go to the end of your abstract and make sure that you have a section break, next page section break, after your abstract text as well. Now the dedication page is its own section. Double click on the page number to open up the header and footer tools menu. 
make sure to deselect the link to previous option. Now, place your cursor on the next section's page number, the table of contents, and again, select deselect link to previous. Now you can place your cursor back on the dedication page number and backspace to remove the number from the dedication. Close the header and footer tool menu and check and make sure that the page number still appears on the pages before and following the dedication page. Now we can insert page numbers for the chapter text. Go to your introduction or page one. Here is where the page numbering will need to restart on page number one. Make sure that you have a section break separating your list of figures from your chapter one or your introduction. If you do not have a section break, place your cursor after your table of contents or your list of figures, go to page layout, select breaks, and next page section break. Now we can adjust the page number format for the introduction. Double click on your introduction page number to open up the header and footer tools menu. Deselect link to previous and then under the page number drop down menu choose format page numbers. Here is where you can change between the Roman numeral back to the Arabic number format. And then instead of continue from previous section, you want to restart the numbering at number one. Make sure to select the page number and update the font if needed to match your manuscript font type. Here we have Times New Roman 12 point. And finally, check to make sure that your margins are correct. Under Page Layout, go to Margins, Custom Margins, Layout, and make sure that your footer margin is set to 0.75. This should automatically number the rest of the pages starting with number 1, but scroll through to verify. If you find any sections where the page number is missing, you can fix this by going to the Insert tab, selecting Page Number, Format Page Numbers, and make sure that the page numbering continues from the previous section. Also make sure that under your Header and Footer Tools menu, double click to open it, that under your Header and Footer Tools menu, Different First Page is not selected, so that the numbers will still show on your chapter title pages. And this concludes the tutorial on page numbering in Microsoft Word.